As we know, climate change is getting worse every single day. And in this video, we are going to present to you some of its causes and effects. Some amount of climate change can be attributed to natural phenomena. Over the course of Earth's existence, volcanic eruptions, fluctuations in solar radiation, tectonic shifts and even small changes in our orbit have all had observable effects on planetary warming and cooling patterns. Life on Earth depends on energy coming from the Sun. Half the light energy reaching Earth's atmosphere passes through the air and clouds to the surface where it is absorbed and radiated in the form of infrared heat. About 90% of this heat is then absorbed by greenhouse gases and re radiated, slowing heat loss to space. Another way we are injecting more greenhouse gas into the atmosphere is through deforestation. Vegetation and soil store carbon by keeping it at ground level or underground. Through logging and other forms of development, we are cutting down or digging up vegetative biomass and releasing all of its stored carbon into the air. In Canada's boreal forest alone, clear cutting is responsible for releasing more than 25 million metric tons of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere each year. Generating electricity and heat by burning fossil fuels causes a large chunk of global emissions. Most electricity is still generated by burning coal, oil or gas, which produces carbon dioxide and nitrous oxide. These are powerful greenhouse gases that blanket the earth and trap the sun's heat. As of 2021, nearly 60% of the electricity used in the United States comes from the burning of coal, natural gases and other fossil fuels. Climate change increases the factors that put and keep people in poverty. Over the past decade, weather-related events displaced an estimated 23.1 million people on average each year, leaving many more vulnerable to poverty. Most refugees come from countries that are most vulnerable and least ready to adapt to the effects of climate change. For example, Ethiopia drought is affecting more than 24 million Ethiopians. And this number is expected to rise as the country is set to enter the sixth consecutive failed rainy season. I've left home because of the drought, says Bistra, who now lives in Torotoro camp for internally displaced people. Greenhouse gas concentrations are rising, so is the global surface temperature. The last decade, 2011 to 2020, is the warmest on record. Since the 80s, each decade has been warmer than the previous one. Nearly all land areas are seeing more hot days and heat waves. Higher temperatures increase heat-related illness and make working outdoors more difficult. Wildfires start more easily and spread more rapidly when conditions are hotter. Temperatures in the Arctic have warmed at least twice as fast as the global average. The ocean soaks up most of the heat from global warming. The rate at which the ocean is warming strongly increased over the past two decades across all depths of the ocean. As the ocean warms, its volume increases since water expands as it gets warmer. Melting ice sheets also cause sea levels to rise, threatening coastal and island communities. In addition, the ocean absorbs carbon dioxide, keeping it from the atmosphere. But more carbon dioxide makes the ocean more acidic, which endangers marine life and coral reefs. 
For example, the Maldives are facing increasing impacts from climate change, including rising sea levels and coral bleaching, endangering its low-lying islands and unique biodiversity.